Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel. Hi, I'm Semantics, and today we have a really great question. 2 to the x plus x equal to 6. And a lot of students might be saying this is a very easy challenge. We have exponential function, we have linear function, we have a constant, so it's not that hard. We don't have like square roots, we don't have sine, cosine. We have very basic expression. We have two six. This is not like a huge values right here, so this is really great. But in the same way, this is a very tricky challenge, and maybe a lot of students can solve this challenge by inspection. They can solve this challenge, they can find this x by inspection, but what about a solution? This is a very interesting moment, and right now let's look at it, how this solution looks like right here. First of all, let's bring this x from our left side to right side, okay? What do we have as a result? From here we have 2 to the power x equal to 6 minus x, okay? 6 minus x. Really great. Right now, let's change position, because we prefer this expression on the left side and the smaller expression on the right side. It changed nothing, but in the same way it will be like more understandable for everyone, so we have 6 minus x. Yeah, and equal to 2 to the power x. Really great. Right now, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay, let's divide both sides by 2 to the power x. Okay, by 2 to the power x. When we divide, it appears in our denominator, so let's do this right now. So what do we have as a result? We have 6 minus x. We divide our left side by 2 to the power x. And equal to 2 to the power x over 2 to the power x. Really great. But on the right side, we can cancel this 2 to the power x because this expression equal to 1, yeah? So we can easily cancel this equal to 1. And if we look closely on the left side, we can easily bring this expression from our denominator to our numerator. But from school, you need to know if you have, for example, 1 over m, yeah? This is equal to m to the power minus 1, yeah? So when we bring this expression from our denominator to numerator, we need to change the sign of our power, okay? So right now, let's change this sign. As a result, what do we have right here? 6 minus x, yeah, 6 minus x, times 2 to the power minus x equal to, equal to 1. Okay, really great. So as you can see right here, we did our first step. We just simplify this a little bit. We just write it in another way. What are we going to do next? Let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 6. Don't ask me why, but in, the, in one minute you'll understand why I do this. Okay, so first of all, let's multiply both sides by 2 to the power 6. Okay, when we multiply this expression by 2 to the power 6, as a result, on the left side, we have 6 minus x times 2 to the power 6 times 2 to the power minus x. I want to write this in this order because we have multiplication all the time, so it changes nothing. So this 2 to the power 6 I write right here and on the right side. 1 times 2 to the power 6. Right now, if we look closely right here, we have 2 and we have 2. So the same basis in this case and in this case. And if you know a little bit about properties, we need to add our powers. If you're talking about multiplication, of course, right here. So when then, this will be equal to 2 to the power 6 minus x. When we add, of course, power, we have minus. So we change nothing. When we add it, we have 6 minus x. So as a result, let's do this right now. Let's write it in a one base. So we have 6 minus x times 2 to the power 6 minus x, as you can see, absolutely the same power. I want to take it inside parentheses, yeah? And equal to 2 to the power 6, okay? 2 to the power 6, really great. And right now, um, someone just look at it, uh, look at this left side, okay? So right here we have 6 minus x, we have 6 minus x right here. So the same expression. And maybe someone know a little bit about Lambert W function because this is a very close case to Lambert W function. How this function looks like. When we have a times e to the power a, when we apply this Lambert W function from this expression, as a result, we have only our a. But in this case, we have e. In our case, we have 2. As you can see right here, a, lo a lot of differences with this explanation and with this expression, yeah? But obviously, we have a right here and a right here, so the same expressions, and we have this same expressions right here. So, for example, this is our a and this is our a. As a result, we're very close to applying Lambert W function, but we have two. As a result, let's change this two by something close to e, okay? But how can we do this? Of course, uh, there's well, a really great trick. So, when we have e to the power natural log a, this is equal to a. And as a result, let's write this as e to the power natural log 2, which will be equal to 2. So, this two can be replaced by this e to the power natural log 2. Okay, so this 2, let's replace by this expression. And as a result, we will have e. So we will be like a closer to this Lambert W function, okay? Because we need to we need to have e right here. We don't have it, so we need to replace this expression, this 2, by this expression. And then we will have e, okay? So let's do this. So we have right here 6 minus x times, instead of 2, we write this, e to the power natural log 2. So e to the power natural log 2, of course, inside parentheses. 
and we have this power 6 minus x really great and equal to 2 to the power 2 to the power 6 okay i hope you understand this step we just change these two by this expression right now everyone need to know about this basic school rule if we have a to the power x for example we raise this to the power y as a result this is equal to a to the power x times y okay and let's apply this rule right here so it will be equal to e to the power this expression times this expression okay so let's do this so we have 6 minus x times e to the power natural log 2 okay natural log 2 times 6 minus x okay we can write it like that and equal to 2 to the power 6 right now let's look closely what do we have right here we have e and we need to have e for lambert w function we have for example this is our a 6 minus x and we have looks like a but we multiply this a by natural log 2 so it's not the same right here and not the same expression in this in this power of e and in this expression on the left side of e okay it's not the same expressions but if we multiply both side by natural log 2 take a look closer right here we are multiplying both side by natural log natural log 2 when we multiply both side by natural log 2 we will have the next thing we will have natural log 2 times this expression 6 minus x times e to the power natural log 2 times 6 minus x and we will have we will multiply this 2 to the power 6 by natural log 2 times natural log 2 and right now if we look closely we have right here natural log 2 times 6 to the power x for example this is our a we have e and we have the power of e is absolutely the same as right here so natural log 2 times 6 minus x this is absolutely the same a and as a result as you can see we can easily apply our Lambert W function because we have absolutely the same expression right here and absolutely the same expression as the power of E. So let's do this right now. So Lambert W function of this long expression, natural log 2 times 6 minus x times e to the power natural log 2 times 6 minus x, yeah? And we close parentheses and of course we apply Lambert W function on the right side okay we can do this only on the left yeah lambert w function of 2 to the power 6 times natural log natural log 2 really great and right now the final moment this expression is absolutely the same to this expression so as a result we can apply a lambert w function and this expression equal to a in our case a this is ex this expression natural log 2 so we have natural log 2 times 6 minus x 6 minus x okay so i changed my pen real quick so sorry about that right here i can write it more like more black for you yeah we have right here six minus x inside parentheses and of course this is our left side and equal to this lambert w function of this expression so lambert w function of two to the power six times natural log natural log two really great what are you going to do next right now let's look at this expression on the right side we have lambert w function of this expression let's rewrite this 2 to the power 6 in a different way let's write it as 2 to the power 2 so this 2 to the power 6 we're going to write as 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 4 let's do this okay we can rewrite it in this way as a result we will have the next thing we will have the same left side so we have natural log 2 times 6 minus x equal to lambert w function of 2 to the power 6 equal to this expression so first of all let's write 2 to the power 2 times next we write natural log 2 and times we still need to multiply it by 2 to the power 4 okay really great right now let's uh, raise this 2 to the power 2 equal to 4 but this 2 to the power 4 let's rewrite it in another way okay let's rewrite this 2 to the power 4 as e to the power natural log 2 raised to the power Four, okay instead of this 2 to the power 4 let's write this expression okay let's do this so as a result what do we have right here we have natural log 2 times 6 minus x equal to lambert w function of we have right here 2 square equal to 4 times natural log 2 and instead of this 2 to the 4 let's write this expression so times e to the power natural log 2 inside parentheses and raise all of the thing by force power okay really great right now according to this property i guess yeah we have right here this property we need to multiply natural log 2 times 4 when we want to rate this expression by this power okay so as a result what do we have right here we have natural log 2 times 6 minus x equal to lambert w function of 4 times natural log 2 and times instead of this let's write e to the power 4 times natural log 2 okay when we raise this so 4 times natural log 
nature log 2. Right now, the final moment, let's look closely what do we have right here. We have 4 times nature log 2, for example, this is our b. And we have 4 times nature log 2 as a power, so for example, this is our b. And this is not for example, this is obviously the same thing. 4 to the 4 times nature log 2 and 4 times nature log 2, we have absolutely the same things. Yeah. So as a result, this is a classic Lambert W function case, when we have a Lambert W function of b times e to the power b. This is equal to only our, our b. Okay, so as a result, we have nature log 2 times 6 minus x equal to lambda w function of this expression equal to 4 times nature log 2, 4 times nature log, nature log 2. Really great. Nature log 2 we can easily cancel because this is a constant. And as a result, we have a final equation 6 minus x yeah, equal to 4. And from here, our x our x equal to equal to 2. This is our solution to this challenge. We can easily check the solution. What do we have in the beginning? In the beginning, we had this equation 2 to the power x plus x equal to 6. Let's check this x equal to 2. 2 to the power 2 plus 2 equal to 6. Yeah, this is absolutely, absolutely correct thing. And a lot of students may be saying, okay, we don't need this solution because obviously x equal to 2. But in terms of math, we need to know about a solution to this challenge. We can't write like a randomly methods. We can't write our, our approximately values. We can't uh, solve this challenge randomly. This is a very bad thing. For example, Jay, I hope you agree with me about that. Because when you solve this challenge completely and step by step, as a result of your final equation, which implies from the previous line, this is a very great thing for everyone, not for, for teachers, for, for students, this is a very great thing. But when you solve this challenge like that, for example, 2 to the x, you write your question, and then you write x equal to 2 and you check it, this is very randomly method. So just forget about this. You need to learn something new, something uh, better for you, great tricks. I hope you understand my thought about it. And I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new. You can also write your question down into the comment section. Write your suggestion down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. So definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Write a question down into the comment section. It will be really interesting to read about it. And thank you for your time. Have a great day. See you in the next videos.